Good morning and welcome to daily reading number six. Today we are reading how to win friends and influence people. And the concept for today is the difference between appreciation and flattery. So what is the difference between appreciation and flattery? Appreciation comes from the heart, you actually mean it. Flattery comes from the teeth, meaning you tell people what you know they want to hear about themselves. And there's a neat little anecdote in this, this morning's chapter. It talks about a boy named Stevie Morris. So Stevie Morris was a blind, a blind boy in Detroit. And one of his elementary school teachers, one day in class, there was a mouse in the classroom. And this teacher was thinking ahead. And taking into consideration that Stevie Morris was blind, she went up to him and said, hey, I need your help finding this mouse because God has given you a set of ears better than anyone else. So I need your help finding this mouse. And what that did was gave him a sort of validation and a sense of pride in that he was asked to complete this task. So it goes on to tell the rest of the story. They found it and they found the mouse. And it goes on to say that this young boy, Stevie Morris, grew up to become Stevie Wonder. Now, did that one little piece of appreciation cause him to go on to become this great musician? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But did it help him in that process? Absolutely. It helped him more than it hurt him. And as you can see, it's not, it doesn't take much to show appreciation. And in my personal life with my career, I'm, I'm sent cards, cards and letters asking for autographs and I have a choice. I can just write my signature on the card, put it in the envelope and send it or I can sign the card, grab a post-it, write, thank you, I appreciate the support, Charlie, paste it on there, put it in the envelope, and send it. Now that sign of appreciation, I don't know, it takes 10 seconds and costs next to no money at all, but I believe that that repeated over and over and over again is doing good for the world, little by little. And I want to touch off with something that Ralph Waldo Emerson said, and this is something that stung me sung me right in the behind towards the end of my career. But he said, every man I meet is my superior in some way. In that, I learn of him. Every man I meet is my superior in some way. In that, I learn of him. What that means is you don't know everything. Everyone you meet, you can learn something from. Maybe it's what not to do, but you gotta keep your eyes and your mind open to realize what that is. Towards the end of my career, I was in the mindset that I knew everything because I was so so sick of the traveling, so sick of the life on the road that I, 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 I had my blinders on. And I, I thought that, that what I was doing was best for my career, but three losses later, I realized that certainly wasn't the case. So I would encourage you to, one, acknowledge the fact that you can learn something from everyone you come in contact with, even if it's what not to do. And two, show appreciation, which comes from the heart, and not flattery, which comes from the teeth. And that, my friends, episode number six, I'll see you mañana.